rim, bring that ice, boy. Walking on that side, yeah, they can't tell me why. Word, I don't even need no lies. Ayy, got my own little spy. Ayy, know me. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Outlaw Gaming back with another YouTube banger. And today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to get the FIB Buffalo, FIB Charger, whatever you want to call it. It's unmarked, it's FBI, FIB, and it has lights on it, and it's fast, and it's fun to use, especially for roleplay on GTA 5. And this is in online, obviously. So, yeah, we, what you're, first you're going to want to do is head over to the airport, and once I get to the airport, I will be back with y'all. Alright, so when you guys make it to the airport, you can just skip that. Whenever you make it to the airport, first thing is your first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and go into your contacts. You're gonna come up to not Mac, you're gonna come up to Martin. Right above mechanic, you're gonna call go ahead and call Martin. Hello. It's easier if you do this. You're gonna request a job. Now he sends you a couple jobs for games, so you're just gonna want to remember what he, what job he sends you. Let's see real fast what job he sends me. All right, so it's gonna be dispatch one. Remember that name. And then you're gonna come to your interaction menu, come down to secure servo, and register as a CEO or VIP. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna want to go back into your interaction menu, come to VIP work. And then you're gonna want to come to hostile takeover. Don't click start. You're gonna want to come over to LSIA. Put the location to LSIA for the mission, and then start the mission. You should wait a couple seconds. There you go. And here we go. You're gonna want to come into LSIA. Go to the mission. And there we go. You're gonna want to come over to this red crate or a briefcase, whatever you want to call it. And you do not want to collect it. Uh, you can collect it, but you don't have to collect it if you don't want to. I'm just gonna come right here. It's okay if you die, by the way. Just giving you a heads up. It is okay if you die. I mean, obviously, if you don't, that's okay as well. You don't have to, but it doesn't really matter if you do or not. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and collect the... Go ahead and collect the briefcase. Like I said, you don't have to. Go ahead and get into the car. Now you're gonna want to be quick with this before they kill you again. It's really cool. It's unmarked. It's fun for role play. Now, unfortunately, you cannot save police vehicles at this moment in GTA Online. There'll probably be a glitch in the future. I'll make a video on it. But as of right now, you cannot save police vehicles. You're gonna want to go ahead and get your phone up. Go to your, well stop right here. Go to your jobs list. Okay, and get the job. If you're, you gotta remember the job name. Get that job that you wanted to order. You just come right here. And you're gonna wanna start the job. Pay Lester whatever you have to pay him. You're, this is just quicker if you do this. So you're gonna wanna come into the job. And as soon as you get into the job, go ahead and quit it. When you quit it, you'll still have the cops on you. You can just let them kill you. Or... You can call them off if you have time. Right there, I didn't have time, so they're gonna impound your vehicle. If you don't have enough money, I recommend that you don't let them kill you, obviously. And I'm gonna run back over to the vehicle. The FIB charger. I can't get over here. I'll be back with y'all when I get out. Alright. I made it out, and as you can see, they impounded your vehicle. It's okay, you can pay it back from Morris Mutual, or you can go get it. But as you can see right here, you have the FIB Buffalo. It's still here, it won't despawn. Go ahead and cut the lights out. You're gonna wanna come to your map. Where is it? You're gonna wanna look 
for the arm wrestling not in this city it'll be down it'd be right here right here it'd be across the street from Benny's so you're gonna want to go to that arm wrestling it doesn't really matter which arm wrestling you go to um, like say you want the unmarked um, or not unmarked but say you want any police vehicle actually if you want any police vehicle vehicle at all and it gets damaged you can go to any arm wrestling place it does not matter at all i'll be back with y'all when i get to the arm wrestling place alrighty guys back as you can see we're at the arm wrestling place you're gonna want to put most of your car in there but enough so you can get out and put most of it in there and then you're just gonna want to get out of your car and start it up immediately as soon as you get into it again you're gonna want to leave it quit confirm that just repairs your vehicle then it won't be here at first you're gonna want to come over here and you're just gonna spin it around and there it is you it could take you three or more spins but usually if it doesn't spawn by the fifth spin then you lost it it's a bit of a chance but 90 I'd say 95% of the time you can you, it'll, it'll spawn for you so there you go the FIB unmarked Buffalo or Charger or whatever you want to call it it's good for roleplay like I said and yeah if you haven't already like and subscribe hit the bell for more notifications more videos I'll be uploading more and yeah I hope you enjoyed stay blessed peace to y'all